Hello, I'm Sheila Gillette, and I've been a direct voice medium for Theo, 12 archangelic beings that speak directly through me and have for four decades. It is my pleasure to introduce Theo to you, but first, you might be interested in knowing how this all started for me. I had a near-death experience in 1969, and at that point in time, I said, hey, God, give me a job. I'll do anything. And then a few months out of the hospital, about six months, I started having all kinds of psychic phenomena happening to me, through me, internally and externally, and I trance spontaneously and began my odyssey with this direct voice mediumship or channeling. And it's progressed over the years. I was laying like, I, like Edgar Cayce and speaking, and then I was told to sit up, which I did, eyes closed for a number of years. And now Theo has the full use of my body. They come in the right side of my body, they take over my vocal cords, and they open my eyes, they speak, they move my body, and they touch individuals at certain times in a healing way. So this has been quite a transition for me, a personal growth. And those of you who are watching this that are, are channeling yourselves will understand that it's an ongoing process of growth. It's not just starting in one way and that you're not growing with it. I have over the many years that I've been doing this, and it's been a wonderful ride. And at this point, I would like to introduce Theo to you. What I will do is I will invite them in, and my husband, Marcus, will begin asking questions so that you can have an understanding of who they are. So here we go. It is the beginning, is it not? It is welcome, Theo. We are appreciative of the opportunity to be of service unto you. You may ask. Well, we're very appreciative to have you here, and I'd like to start off by asking you to <clears throat> please introduce yourselves. We are 12 archangelic beings known collectively by the name of Theo, here as mentors, teachers for the evolution of consciousness for humankind. It is now time that all are being impacted in experiencing the fifth dimensionary energy, which is the evolution and awareness of one's masterhood. Theo, how is it that you speak through Sheila's physical body? We engage on a cellular level, having utilized this body, worked with the energetic fields cellularly, so there could be a conjoining of our energetics. And why now? Why speak through her now? Because it is this evolution that is at hand for all humanity. Never before have humans been ready to accept the divinity that they are. And that is now. The, from where do you speak? What dimension? There are 12 dimensions about the earth, six of which will be experienced in the physical experience of humanity and we engage in that sixth dimension to have this conversation. However, we are participating in all dimensions. Well, how many dimensions, tell us about the dimensions about the earth and the, the dimensions that affect us as human beings. The third is your physical reality, the fourth has been the spiritual awakening, the fifth is an awareness of the masters that you are, and the usage of energy for the miraculous. The sixth is living in that peace and atonement, enlightenment, as many would speak of it. Yes? Yeah, and that is possible in our lifetime? It is possible, we should say, mm -hmm. as beings are receptive. What do we need to do to be able to experience that. Take responsibility for your emotional maturity. Do the inner work of alignment to your soul. Integrate that and it allows you to be on the level of the master that you are. Theo, how do you see us 
and how do you see our world today? We see the beauty of your world through your eyes. For you live in a beautiful environment and in learning to care for that environment is at hand. We see you as the vessels of love that you are. We have no judgment to the lessons you choose to learn. We are there to hold the energy for your evolution. And what is unique, Theo, about this time in history? Never before has the energy be, been so refined and heightened, quickened, if you would, so that beings can recognize that masterhood. It seems repetitive, but as beings recognize who they are, the divinity that they are, the unlimitedness of their being, and this is the energy that is here and present. It is only by choice, is it not, choosing to do so. So what guidance do you have, Theo, for people wanting to accelerate their spiritual growth now? Hmm. Accept it. Embrace it. The utilization of meditation on a regular basis habitually is very important to quiet the mind and to allow a listening for awareness to be had. It, the words are simple, the actions are not, for there is resistance, is there not? And what did the year 2012 feel? What do you see around that? It is a combination of energies, the quickening of what we've spoken, and it's been ongoing for many decades. It is not only in the now, but it has been arced up, if you would, for these dramatic changes in the world. It is not the ending of the world, but it is as the world has been known, many changes of consciousness. Yes? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And some final thoughts for this sitting, Theo? Mm. Embrace all that is. The possibilities are grand. Be courageous. Have no fear. Embrace the beauty, the uniqueness and divinity that you are. You are complete with your asking. We are for now. God's love unto you. Unto you, Theo. Good day. Good day. Hello again. I hope you've enjoyed this little sampling of the Theo Group. And I hope you can enjoy now what we have to offer on our website. And we would enjoy having you participate in everything that we have to offer. Thanks for watching.